Hey everybody, welcome back. We are looking today at the iShares Core Dividend Growth Fund. That is ticker symbol DGRO. We're going to do a basic overview, see how this thing is ran, look at the index, dividend growth, performance, and all that stuff. Uh, so stay tuned. If you're new here, like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. So first off, well, like I said, ticker symbol DGRO. Uh, DGRO follows the Morningstar U.S. Dividend Growth Index and is designed to provide exposure to U.S. based securities with a history of uninterrupted dividend growth. The index is a subset of the Morningstar U.S. Market Index. Uh, the benchmark for this is that they need to pay qualified dividends. They need to be screened for a minimum of five years of uninterrupted annual dividend growth, not just annual payments that need to be growing and have, an, have a significant margin to continue growing their dividend. So let's take a look real quick at the index construction. So as we said, they're uh, from the Morningstar U.S. Market Index. Uh, the indicated dividend yield must not be in the top 10% of the universe. So they take out the actual high yielders. And the reason for that is uh, typically when you're paying a high yield, you usually can't grow that yield. Uh, they're usually maxed out. Sometimes, uh, sometimes high yield can equal a dangerous yield. Uh, so that's why they do that. Dividend must be qualified income again at least five years of uninterrupted annual growth and this is a nice one positive consensus earnings forecast and payout ratio less than 75% so they're looking forward to uh, companies that are expected to grow their earnings so let's take a look at degrow real quick now degrow uh, at the date of this filming, trading at 55.65, has $21 billion in assets as of November 30th, 2% dividend yield, an expense ratio of 0 0.08, five star rating from Morningstar, and a A star or A rating from FactSet. And we'll look here at the price to earnings. Price to earnings. Pretty much a value fund at 18.65 uh, uh, price to earnings for the trailing 12 months. That means the prior 12 months. That's a weighted average of the total fund. Now let's take a look at the portfolio composition. Let that load up here. And we'll go down and we'll look and see. Uh, Degrow has a total holdings of 393 26% of that is in the top 10 uh, with the other 383 making the bottom 73% and the top 10 uh, Microsoft at 3.3% Pfizer at 3.1 Apple at 3% JP Morgan at 2.7 Procter and Gamble 2.6 Home Depot at 2.6, J&J at 2.5, Verizon at 2.5, Broadcom at 2, and Merck at 2 as well. 98% of the fund, almost 99% of the fund is in North America with 1% in Europe and a little bit of Latin America. Market capitalization, large cap 80.5%, mid cap at 16%, small cap at 3.25 percent and a small weighting in micro at 0 0.07 and morningstar rates this as a large cap value fund sector exposure Let's go over here information technology at 20.5 percent financials at 19 healthcare 16.4 industrials 11.8 consumer staples 9.4 consumer discretionary at 8 Utilities at 7, Communication Services at 4, Materials at 3, Energy with a very small weighting of 0 0.07. So again, this excludes real estate because they need to be qualified dividends. So if real estate uh, needs to be in your portfolio, consider using a uh, ETF for that coverage or buying a REIT yourself. Um, also, if you would like more exposure to energy, 
do the same thing. So let's take a look at the dividend growth. And for that, we're going to use Seeking Alpha. And uh, Seeking Alpha has them at 1.93% for the dividend yield. Everybody's going to have a different, little bit different calculation there. Um, not so great on the dividend growth rate to uh, the trailing 12 months, only 4.18% on the dividend growth rate uh, trailing 12 months. Um, we had a six something percent uh, inflation rate, so that didn't keep up. So that's a little disappointing there. Um, but the three year compounded growth rate is 9.77 and the five year is 10.3. So that's a good uh that's a, that's a good average. Um, just hopefully in the future we can uh, get these dividend growth rates up. Consecutive years of dividend growth. This ETF has only been around seven years. So it's been seven and consecutive years of dividend payments at seven as well. So let's take a look at performance. And there's a lot of uh, people that will compare this one to SCHD. Um, I I do as well. I personally own Degro. Um, I picked it over SCH Day personally uh, because of the uh, extra holdings that are in it and uh, and the more weighting toward uh, technology, um, even though I think SCHD has brought that up re recently. So we'll take a look and compare it to SCHD and if you missed my SCHD video, I'll link that down below. That was yesterday. Check that one out as well. So here is Degrow and you can see uh, Degrow and SCHD kind of neck and neck. Um, if you look here, total return average annual since 2014, 13.88% for Degrow and 14.02% for SCHD. So it's really comes down to um, what do you like in your holdings? Um, I personally like Degrow, but uh, there's no argument saying that SCHD has performed extremely well and uh, their dividend growth rate is outstanding. So um, again, check out that SCHD video if you have interest in that. And uh, that's going to conclude today's review. Hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Leave me a comment down below and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye. I am not a financial advisor. The information contained in this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be investment advice. Please seek a licensed professional for any investment, tax, or legal advice. Thank you.